Okay, so let's just uh, start. Mm. So this week's uh, challenge is uh, on uh, collecting uh, advertisement data from Tigo by Ethiopia channel. So you are working as a marketing analytics engineer at Tech Service Bank in Ethiopia, and your task is to actually understand how the strategies of the market ma the marketing strategy uh, is efficient or not and also how how can it be improved so your first solution would be to collect all the banks advertisements from tigva and to demonstrate the proof of work just for tracking conversion so tracking conversion in this sense is just how so for example you can just take uh, app reviews from google play store and also telegram subscription data how it, it progressed based on those apps so now the end goal would be to set up a dashboard system that is connected to the data warehouse which such that plots and figures are constantly refreshed and more data is when more data is added so uh, you can uh, review uh, few open source and proprietary dashboard systems and you can select the, that which is suitable for this particular business objective and also you you can deliver just the first draft solution in one week so so let's just not do not pick a much complex dashboard uh, system just pick somehow a uh, feasible one and analyze the data and produce dashboards on the marketing efficiency inside. So for example, how do the different bank advertisements in Tigba uh, in terms of view, view counts per post and also how app downloads influenced by advertisements and also how Telegram channel subscription were impro uh, uh, impacted or influenced by the advertisement. So few, few of the proprietary dashboard tools are Booker Studio, Microsoft BI and also Tableau. And the open source dashboard tools are D dash superset and metabase. So you can just go through all this and pick the one that is feasible and also somehow related to and useful for this particular business objective. And the data would be you, you will uh, be collecting the latest data from Tikva Ethiopia channel and also Google Play Store reviews. And you can just find uh, simply uh, uh, an older data which that has been collected. Uh, few months back and you can just uh, see it and understand it and also you can uh, know how to formulate it later. so it's just a review data and also a bank data, uh, add data uh, bank advertisement data on Igba. and so uh, we will have an interim submission on wednesday and also final submission on saturday 8 pm utc both and for the first task we will be uh, there will be as always uh, github set up so there you have to have some CICD and so you have to have uh, some cleaner st structure and for the database um, design you have to uh, create schemas for your four data sets the first one is telegram post performance start and time series google play store review and google play store app download data and time series channel uh, subscription rows and project planning, so for the EDA part, try to understand the data you have just collected. So for example, try to uh, understand how it, 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 it progressed and also try to understand what was the, what was the actual uh, reason. So for example, let's say there is a spike in the number of subscription or number of app downloads. So uh, is that related to the Telegram ad or not? have to uh, check and understand so which this will tell you how the marketing strategy is actually influencing the, the other things like telegram subscriber count and also app downloads and for the dashboard i mean for the task two you will create a dash uh, i mean a python in bash script uh, to help you set up a docker so you will you will, you will make your whole application dockerized which will may help you to actually deploy it in a production environment and also in a production setup. So the minimum essential thing to do are write a bar script to automate setting up a scalable dashboard system in just in your local system. And commit change to your version control is just a basic uh, uh, guidance to let you know how to commit those changes. And <clears throat> the third task is 
to load the data using Kedro framework. So Kedro has uh, seven layers. So these layers are somehow a conventional layer. So try to understand those layers. So for example, row layer contains the raw data as it's just in ingested. So for example, let's say you are just collecting it from, um, you are collecting it manually and you're putting it on a sheet. So that's your raw layer. And the intermediate layer would be that has just undergone some initial initial processing so for example let's just say you you might want to skip some some values or in order and just that would be an intermediate layer the primary layer contains the clean data so the transformed data and also that would be used for a machine learning insights and also the for machine learning models and also in your analysis so the future layer is uh, you create features or variables so for example let's say you have to uh, drive uh, future from primary layer data so this will be a feature layer and the model input layer would be the layer uh, includes feature to fit into your machine learning model and the model layer would i mean the model input layer would be i mean the model layer is just it holds the trained machine learning models themselves and the output layer would be uh, uh hold will hold after training the model produces prediction and other outputs so this layer stores oh, yeah. those results and the reporting layer is uh, the layer that contains data for generating reports for or visualization yeah. such as charts graphs and uh, dashboards so uh, so in this task you have to create uh, folders for the first two layers or so layer and the middle layer and load the, pre the process data in the postgres as uh, Kepro's primary layer, because as we have mentioned, the primary layer contains the cleaned version of the data. And now you create your dashboard. So based on your EDA, try to understand the ad performance comparison between banks on Tikva, and also try to understand how the time the ad was placed have an impact on the performance, and also, let's say just for A to explain a little bit more, let's say you posted an ad in the morning and there are there is a few impact and also you posted an ad in the afternoon and there is a high impact so you have to understand time which time of the day is in, was impactful and also which should be applied in your uh, insights or in my in your future marketing strategies and also now the next thing would be to understand uh, what was the difference from the between the ads so is the content that much different or is the actual sentiment was different or is it was was it somehow uh, incentive based so for example incentive based means let's just say add 50 people and you'll get paid uh, some two thousand or three thousand or such kind of ads and which bank is performing well in terms of uh, placing ads optimally uh, which means get to get the most views per post and the next would be play play store review sentiment so you you will fetch play store review data and you know, do a sentiment analysis on those and what is the general sentiment across time so uh what how how does the sentiment progress and or and also now you you will check impact of tikva on app downloading review sentiment so let's say the ad is placed yesterday and after that you have an, an immediate uh, spike in number of downloads or uh, the sentiment change from positive to negative or from neutral to negative or from just for, uh, just try to check the impact of the ad in, in that form and the next would be to check the impact uh, against channel subscription so this means uh, now uh, after the ad was uh, how the subscription actually uh, progressed is it actually um does the ad actually drive a lot of traffic or not that does the ad actually uh, made a true change in the number of subscribers and yeah and task four would be uh, the database and dashboard migration tools so now let's say you have to migrate your, your uh, database tables to remote instance you have to write the migration script and also Write script to migrate your uh, SQL queries and dashboards to a remote instance. So basically, most of the uh, most of the tasks are uh, listed here, and also try to complete uh, all of the tasks as much as you can. And the due dates of the submissions are on Wednesday. You have to there will be a GitHub link 
submission and running stream for, for task one and task two. And on Saturday, there will be the final submission, which is final report. Try, as I mentioned earlier, try to write uh, your report in media. So that would be much more uh, appealing to other readers other than sharing just your PDF. And also you have to, uh, you will learn how to write professionally and also somehow, um, which is publicly accessible. And the tutorial schedules would be, uh, there will be another tutorial uh, after uh, why, uh, I think in 9.30 in Ethiopian time. Uh, then it will be Telegram data analysis, which will be given by me and Docker and Bash scripts would be uh, given by Reddit and would be I dashboard would be given by uh, our guest tutor EOL and Kedro framework and Okay, will be given by Kerot, and we will have a Q and A on uh, Wednesday, and on Thursday we will have data validation and with great great expectation, which will be provided by IAIA. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we we'll just try to put uh, uh, some useful references. So if you have any blockers, try to go through them, and you'll have uh, you'll have a, a, a much more better understanding about the overall challenge so if you have any question make sure to mention uh, it on slack and the tutorials will be available we will be available to address them and uh, get, get it solved so yeah if you have any question you can uh, raise your hand and ask okay daniel you can go Okay, you mentioned uh, earlier about uh, doing sentiment analysis on a App Store review. Yeah. Uh, so how can we get that data as a review? Is, it, is there an API or something? There are um, plenty of resources on that, so you can just uh, check those resources and figure out this one. Uh, how to do it you have to figure it out how to do it so for example there are there might be uh, three or five or ten ways of win, ten ways to do it so you can just uh, explore those and uh, do it on your own so the reason why why we are doing this as i've mentioned earlier is that uh, we want you to actually uh, understand the problem and solve the problem now we gave you a problem and also that we used to actually give you actually the how to solve it will be provided too now how to solve it is not or how to get how to fetch the data is not uh given so now you have to find your, your way and just try and if you have any blockers or if you uh can't actually uh if you can't get the actual uh, references or the correct uh, sources just uh, mention it on slack and yeah try to ask uh, other trainees too yeah and okay we can uh, just do that uh, is that clear Danny? yes yeah, yeah. okay uh, any other question Okay, so uh, thank you guys for uh, for actually participating in the challenge uh, introduction, and yeah, see you on the next tutorial. Thank you guys. I'll just stop the recording.